Today I want to talk about fixing your push-up and the first, I, maybe not the biggest, maybe not the most common, but probably equally common with back position. This one is I need to finish with my arms long, okay? So this is kind of a common misconception because doing it without finishing with your arms long still looks like a push-up, at least to normal people. Right, so I come here and I finish here. Now I can do a lot more push-ups if I go that way. And you know, if that's the only goal, maybe you do that. We have this push-up challenge at Google where all the different buildings and different sites all over uh, the United States. I don't know if we compete with other countries too. Um, we all band together and everybody in that building tallies up how many push-ups they can do. You can do up to 400 every day to count towards this total. Um, I did 400 every day for five days last year and my neck was just jacked up, but I was not finishing every rep with my arms long like this. I was not ensuring that my spine stayed uh, relaxed and rounded. You know how you have a normal rounding to your upper back and a little normal bending curvature of your neck. I was just letting everything flatten out and push, right? Because I can do more push-ups that way. It, it's definitely something to consider. Um, but assuming your goal is to lift over the long term to stay really healthy while you do all this um, and to keep your shoulders stable and mobile, at the same time, we got to make sure that you're finishing with your arms long. So if if you're doing a push up like this, I'm first going to say reach your arms through the ground at the top of the push up. That's one of my favorites. If that doesn't work, I might say push all the way away at the top. OK, and if that doesn't work, it might be a strength issue that you have here and you may need to try it without the full weight of your body on your hands. In that case, I'd set up hands and knees and I'd just see if you can round your back and push your whole upper back towards the ceiling. Again, if you can't get that, um, you got to sit there. You got to try to figure that out. You got to try to finish reaching without a big pec muscle, right? Your pec is moving for the majority of this movement, but at the end, it's gotta shut off. Otherwise, it stays hypertonic, pulls your shoulder out of alignment, limits your mobility, limits your stability, okay? So that's one of the biggest things and why we're starting with uh, finishing your push-ups at the top.